Suffice to say that various news platforms are clearly biased. From your Fox News stories to your daily fix of CNN, news outlets are picking sides and it becomes blatantly obvious that they're doing so after watching and reading them. Various techniques such as picking which stories you cover, ignoring others, and deciding how to cover them are commonly used by news outlets. This, of course, is nothing new. Edward Bernays, who was known as the father of public relations, was talking about this phenomenon in the 1920s. He even published his famous book on the topic, Propaganda, in 1928. But this begs the question, are any news outlets propaganda-free? Well, maybe we should start by clearing some things up. Propaganda, by definition, is any sharing of information, especially of a biased or misleading nature, used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. A definition like this one makes things even harder, because it's difficult to know whether or not you're promoting a particular view. For example, if you publish one story speaking of a mistake that President Trump made, are you promoting an anti-Trump political view? What if you publish 10? or 50, or a thousand, at what point are you crossing the line from simply stating a fact to promoting a particular view? Because propaganda doesn't have to blatantly state its purpose in order to be propaganda. If you go to a news site and all of its stories are about the mistakes President Obama made during his administration, most people would agree that this is propaganda. But if the stories are purely a collection of facts without anything else such as opinions in the story, is it still propaganda? Many would agree that it still is, but that's not the point. The point is that the subjective nature of identifying propaganda makes it difficult to decide what is and isn't biased. Even if some propaganda becomes obvious to the public, some more subtle versions of it may still slip through the cracks unnoticed. Another problem is the fact that everyone, especially reporters who are constantly interacting with the political atmosphere, has a series of opinions on various issues. It's very likely that reporters at one time or another may allow their own biases to interfere with the issue at hand, even if the interference is accidental or subliminal. Ultimately, when it comes to the topic of propaganda, as with many other topics, we are left with more questions than answers. So perhaps in this environment where at times it's difficult to distinguish people's intentions from the facts that are being repeated, a particular mindset may be helpful. One that has been talked about for ages, a skeptic's mindset, a way of thinking that is willing to hear out the information of others, but is always willing to question both the source and the information itself. I'm the Modern Ape. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe.